guys welcome back so today we should be able to skip winter if we decide to though i think we've been able to make enough clothing in order to at least be out during the day so um i know when the sun starts going down it gets a little bit colder which is fair enough i guess uh our activities will be obviously limited to what we can do with that but uh you know just staying and buildings doing things in them we often go in them anyways but um i was also thinking how it could impact the um npcs their foods and their mood so i was thinking maybe it wouldn't be a best idea because i've never skipped a season before and <clears throat> i'm not sure how the food will run out or if the the wood will run out or if the water will run out or anything like that so it's um probably not a great idea to do that though uh we do have uh some stuff that we can actually do to work on some things like for example uh i wanted to get that kitchen set up but you know we don't have another house so we need to build another house for a few more npcs so we can at least get somebody in here doing the clothing and stuff, and then somebody maybe uh, for the kitchen. I'm not sure if we can get a barn built just yet. I'm still debating where to put that. Like, I know the crows and stuff don't despawn if there's um, structures around it, so uh, that might be an option. Um, there's also this little section right here. There's some trees in here as well, but uh, we might be able to fit it right here as well. Um, I know our shed's there, but I'm not sure if we can clean up that a little bit and just put it in there. Uh, that way it's close to the farm, and if we decide to make another farm, it will still be within range over here. So, I don't know. I was thinking about putting another farm here eventually, but we'll see what we come up with. Um, as far as another house, maybe... This goes off of this path here. We actually should probably do a path like that. And then we might want to make a fence or something. Just so NPCs don't like decide to. You. Well, you can still walk up that actually. I didn't realize that. You just can't walk up here. So maybe a fence right in that area. And we still have some fences that we need to build as well. So I'm just going to put that there just so it's their pathfinding is a little bit easier because oh no hold on a sec
Alrighty then. So what we got, uh, we got most of that fence uh, set up. So they have like a little yard thing. Uh, probably put a table over in here. I'm not sure when we'll be able to unlock the table, but I think this would be a good place for it. And we might be able to put some decorations and stuff over on this side. Uh, looks like there's a couple ferns here, so it might blend in really nicely if we had some flower pots and stuff. Uh, you know, when we actually unlock them and stuff like that. So, um, Let's grab some more sticks. We're probably going to need a little bit more. So we have a few more fences that we need to build. And then we can start working on that. Um, I, I did run out of water in my uh, bucket, so I had to go fill that up as well but um, outside of that I did cooking from what was gotten from the last the last day and that's about it I ate a little bit of food so we were all ready for today yeah I think this will look really good uh, that one right there okay so next what I want to do is figure out a place for that other house I was thinking maybe see here there's these two trees that might be a problem but we might be able to fit it right here and I know that it's like around here but we might be able to do kind of like a fence or a yard over in this area and kind of like a pathway going up to it right here that might work. We'll see what we can come up with. Uh, maybe if we put it off to the side, that yard would be a better idea. So we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, let's see. Uh, we want that one. There's that kind. So I'm going to see if we can't get it to the regular foundation. Looks like we'll have to have a stilt one if we do it here. Just want to see if there's other ways we can do it. Okay, it looks like it would be a stilt one. I don't really want the stilt one. Uh, maybe over here then. Okay, that's the one I want. Might be too close to the path, or the tree might be in the way. Yeah, I think that tree's in the way. So, we could chop down that tree. And remove the stump. It's only one tree, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue.
Alright, so I accepted a quest that was over here that somebody needed a wooden hammer to renovate their house with, so I thought I would quickly do that up. Um, not sure who I need to go to. I think it's him. Okay, we got Dynasty Repetition. I don't think we got anything else other than that. Maybe some coins. I think we had like 90, so... There's that. Um, outside of that, uh, we got a little bit of stuff done. Uh, I still think we should chop down some trees. Um, thinking about going over to the other side there and cutting a few of them down. Um, mainly because we need the, the wood. I scheduled some stuff in for them to cut more wood, but it'll be a while until we can get that part all sorted out, but uh, in the meantime, I've been picking up stones and building that house. Uh, there wasn't really anywhere to put it that wasn't a stilt, so I thought maybe right here would be the best place. They could have like a little yard right in here, and um, I don't know, we'll figure out what we want to put down there, I guess, but that would leave it open for kind of like decorations along here as well, so that that might look actually really good. We might be able to put some stuff in there. And that's this is a natural path that goes through here, so it will connect directly to the main path. Well, we might as well just go ahead and do that right now. And then it should go like that. They'll go inside their house. It'll be a nice little cozy house. So yeah, that's basically the idea at least. Um, I'll need to make myself a axe, I believe. I'm going to need some stones and stuff for that. Uh, definitely some sticks. And then we'll head on over to the other side there. After we put some stuff away. And then we'll see if we can't um, chop down a couple trees. And get the wood that we need for finishing that other house. I'm not sure how much that's going to cost. I think it's like five, five uh, gold for taxes for that which isn't too much and hopefully we can find somebody that can cook and can um, maybe do uh, the a woodworking or something like that like extraction I'm not sure if we can get that set up or we could put them in there I'm not sure not sure yet um, but we'll figure it out I'm gonna put all this stuff in here though though that we don't need at the moment and then it'll be later
Alright guys, so I ended up getting that house built finally, and I started to um, get everything prepped for them to move in. Uh, I figure what will happen is we don't have a wife yet, so we'll start to work towards that. I think uh, just kind of basing off of their kind of their approach of how they approach you and stuff. I think this one would be the, probably the best one. I can't pronounce her name. Um, can't really pronounce any of them. Uh, they're all medieval names, as far as I can understand. But how can I help you? That one has more of a strict tone. Have a good day. This one's more open. This one's more open. See you soon. But this one's really um, seems more approachable and stuff. How so. is life treating you? I think what we're going to do is we're going to invite her. Not Goodbye. only does her skills focus on farming, something that we don't have set up yet, but we'll be able to um, get automated. Uh, but uh, she's also good in extraction and diplomacy. Uh, though if she's in farming for long enough, she'll probably stay in farming. So uh, I think we'll move her into that house. We can't set up another person until then until we get her moved into it with us but that will be it'll make it easier to um build the relationship and stuff so i think that will be the best thing so we'll go ahead and creating new sell settlements see you there go ahead and go to the management screen and we'll set her up with that nice new house and a job so for the moment uh extraction is that other thing that she was good at so i think what we'll do is we'll put her into oh woodworking's already set up so we'll have to go with the stone shed and that would at least get her something uh for that okay so perfect uh now we can start working on that part um over the period of time we will need a new bench and um the more that we progress the the, the more we'll be able to get our relationship set up and everything like that but uh we will need to find a place for a farming shed and i'm thinking because of all this uh, we're gonna put like a farm right over here and a farm is over here i think right um, right here or right in the corner, somewhere around here would probably be best for the uh, farming shed. Probably right about here. It's it doesn't take up too much space. We could even do it probably because there's that over there too, right? So anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.